Hey dudes, so uh, I just finished doing that transfer case input seal video and I'm gonna put the speedometer cable on now because I'm right here and it's easy and it's easy for me to show you just a couple of little things. So we've got our brand new speedometer cable here and if you didn't watch the video the other day where we announced our sponsor, this came from Big Mike's Motor Pool. Um, get anything you need from him you get speedometer cables tachometer cables seals hard parts whatever you need i'll leave a link to his website in the description i'm probably going to leave his phone number too uh give him a holler if you need something so let me uh let me mount you up here see if we can um get you a good view of what we are working on so down here just a little further just a little 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 bit a little bit more there we go this is your transfer case speedometer adapter. So this is the thing that like, if you're running a taller tire than normal, say you're running 1120s up to 395s, any of those sizes, anything above a 920, your speedometer is gonna be off. You change this to a 0.222 ratio and it puts your speedometer back in a range where it's actually somewhat reliable. Uh, Big Mike's also has those. I don't know what they cost, um, but yeah, anyway, that's not the point. What I'm showing you how is how to change the cable. And, and the reason is because there's one thing about it that can really be frustrating. And I'm just showing you this end. Okay. I'm not going to show you the rest of everything else. It's a one inch on the speedo cable itself. So when you break it loose, you may not be able to see this right now. And I don't have any brake clean to clean it up. So actually, wait a minute. Yes, I do. No, it's just down here. Oh, just a little bit left. Oh, please be enough. Okay, I bet that's better. Ah, okay. Yeah, that looks better. Sweet. Okay, so the brass nut that holds the cable onto the adapter is one inch. Now you can probably see this right here. This is another nut. This is inch and a sixteenth. What always happens to me on these fuckers, and I'll show you because I've already done this, they both break loose. They come together every damn time. The problem with that, when the brass nut is tight, it's just out of phase with the flats on the inch and a sixteenth. So you can't put your inch and a sixteenth on there. It, so if you can't hold it, you can't get... You, you can't get it off. So what do you do? Step up to an inch and an eighth. And you can put your inch and an eighth on there. And it's just small enough to catch that inch and a sixteenth. And just big enough to clear the out of phase flats on the one inch. So that will allow you to gently... Oh, don't make a fool out of me. I'm tired of being made a fool out of on my own videos. Uh. Oh. Okay, now it broke loose. Excellent. Ugh. And you know, this is what's strange about this. I never put them on there that tight because I know it does this. They tighten up on their own, it seems like. So, I got that broke loose, and here we go. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about this speedometer and stuff, okay? You see how my speedometer cabling jacket is, is gone here? Um, it rotted away from oil exposure over the years. And not oil exposure from the outside. Oil exposure from the inside. But what happens is many of you might notice a leak, a gear oil leak out of your speedometer adapter assembly. And um, you'll think, well, um, you know, maybe the gasket between the cable and the adapter is bad and it's leaking oil. Well, that's, that's not the case. Um, the adapter, and you probably can just barely see it right here, on the bottom of this, there's a grease zerk. These are supposed to be greased every time you grease everything else on the truck. And on the front right here is a little relief so when you actually get it full of grease, it will spurt some grease out of here and you'll know it's got enough grease in it. Well, there shouldn't be oil in this, okay? 
So when you have oil dripping out of either the adapter assembly on the end here or out of the cable, you know oil is coming out of the transfer case, filling up this adapter, washing all the grease out, and then continuing on into the cable because there actually is no seal to keep oil out that way. There is a rubber washer in here that seals the cable nut against the threaded adapter. That's just to keep water out of the out of the inside. It's not to keep anything in, okay? So I don't even know if this cable has that rubber o-ring on it anymore. Um no. It's just metal in there. And see, I've already replaced this uh, this center drive once because it broke. And you see it's got a bunch of grease in there um, that has come out of here. And that's part of the feature of it, okay? The, the cable is supposed to be self-lubricating, so, and I say self-lubricating, and not, it doesn't lubricate itself, obviously, but it's supposed to take the grease from here and actually pull it up the cable itself and keep the cable lubricated. Um, when you have oil coming out of this, it's because the seal in here has failed. And when you unscrew this off of there, it leaves a threaded bushing. This bushing threads into the case, and there is a packing around that, that uh, the drive key that goes through that bushing. That packing fails, and it lets oil come through there, fill up your adapter assembly, and push all the grease out, and then leak everywhere. So, and you can't fix it just by stacking O-rings in there or putting a washer in there, a rubber washer in there. There's nothing you can do except replace that bushing and the packing with it. It comes as one piece, okay? And uh, Big Mike should have it. Um, it is called a sleeve. They don't refer to it as a bushing in the parts team. Um, but you can't... You would think you could get just the... Um, just the little rubber packing alone, but that's not the case because um, it's a wear item. That that bushing, that sleeve, is actually an aircraft part meant to hook up uh, tachometer cables to engines on small aircraft, and uh, it's a wear item, the whole thing. So if the bushing um, is a golden retriever and a pig in my yard, like like I guess the neighbor has a golden retriever and a pig and they're just kind of chilling huh I didn't know they had a pig I know that golden retriever is stupid it keeps coming over in my shop and growling at me um, anyway so now that now that I've um, completely lost my train of everything uh the bushing is a wear item. The drive key and the bushing and all are supposed to be replaced together. So the general idea is if that packing is leaking, then the bushing, which is the wear surface for the key, is probably worn out too and it should be replaced. So that's why you can't get the packing and the bushing separately. If you've got a transfer case leak out of your adapter and you're tired of it, you need to get a hold of Big Mike. He's got the parts. So, um... When you put this back together, actually, I can go ahead and pull this out. Now. The transfer case um, speedometer adapter, the threaded end of it is a different size, thankfully, than the speedometer is. You got a one inch on one end and a three quarter on the other end. So you can't get them mixed up, you can't get it in backwards. Um, I would suggest you just follow the factory routing, which I'm going to do my best to do here. Uh, and that's what I was talking about with the rubber washer in there. That's just to keep water out of the cable, okay? So, you'll notice this adapter is pointed slightly down. That's, um... That's so water can actually run off of it, and if you do get a leak of oil in there, it's it's one central drip point. You have a little bit of dip in the cable now. Since I'm not worried about that anymore, let's 
it's an inch and a sixteenth. I'll straighten that up. What? I thought that was an inch and a sixteenth. I guess it's one inch. Yep, okay. So, <laughs> straighten it up a little bit and you see you break it loose and it rotates easy. And now you see I was telling you grease comes out of it. There's no seal there at all. It's just it goes right into the the worm drive in there and that's it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna face this farther straight straight to the side instead of angled down. That way my cable isn't rubbing on the cross member anymore. <laughs> Scooter! My dog's over there with him and I can't. Scooter! Come! Come here! I don't want my dog getting in a fight or something with a pig. What are you doing over there, turd burglar? Now getting this, uh, Getting the cable in there is another fun, fun thing, but it's just, uh, just that one keyed drive, so it's not like you got a, um, cattywampus hex or something to get in there. It only goes in one way, so that's it, guys. Uh, the rest of it is just, I mean, running it up to your one... Uh, cable clamp you got on the floor and then up to the transmission tunnel to the speed oak so nothing to it that's all I wanted to show you some little specifics and stuff about that so scooter scooter come you can't you leave them alone dude you're not gonna roam with a, a retriever and a pig thanks for watching dudes uh, I apparently have some wildlife to tend to get them over back to the neighbors so uh, check out big Mike's down in the description below and uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. If I can get it to stop, this is a common theme now. I cannot get it to stop recording. Hello, stop.